Tonight's video will not be a stream. It is a work in progress. I don't know when exactly I'll have it finished, but I am 80 floors in. So, once I get down to floor, I don't know, 99, I'll probably stop there, assemble a video of everything, uh, well, parts, uh, obviously, you wouldn't, not everything. Uh, anyway, I'll assemble the pieces, uh, the interesting highlights of what happened in this hell run, and uh, I'll post that online sometime in the next four hours. How hard can these last 20 floors possibly be? Don't answer that. <laughs> Some of these floors have been turned into long, brutal slugfests, where I'm like, Oh great, the undead keep getting back up over and over and I don't have my fairies with me. Or, oh shit, several of my characters are dead and I'm in serious trouble and I have to res them and that takes a very long time. And the undead keep getting back up! Yeah, it's been, uh... It's been, it's been an adventure. Most of that didn't, didn't get caught on film, though. Uh, most of it was me showing the more interesting encounters where I encounter something new. I have seen gremlins now. I don't think I recorded any of the segments with them, but they have the same abilities as a fairy? Except they don't have the ability to kill undead. They have some other thing. Also, some of the abilities have been very disappointing. I have a couple I haven't tried yet. I have one power that turns the character into a sword. I haven't used it yet, and I'm kind of terrified of it, but we'll see what it does. If it permanently kills a character to give me an item, like, holy crap. But you can only bring ten characters in the te final battle, so what are you going to do with the other twenty? No, that's... holy shit. <laughs> anyway, it's been an adventure. Um, it has also been... very many hours... Very, very many hours. It was very wise not to try to stream this entire thing. Holy crap. <laughs> it has been long. So expect sometime in the next four hours to have a video. Okay? <laughs> I might as well do the 100th floor and include that in the video. I might as well. Whatever the hell I'm in for. I, all right, I'll take one moment to show a little bit, because I was, I believe somebody said that the items you get is, is random-ish, so we might not, so there's no, I guess there's no guarantee you'll get necessarily all the things what you get, so you can kind of get an overview of what's going on down here, hey look, a balder axe. A ripple thingy. It's a wand. A lot of things I don't even know what to do with. I don't know what the dark road instruments are, but I assume they're a set, and I have a few. I have things that seem like they're sets, but I don't know quite what to do with them. I have a blowgun. I have a blowgun now, by the way. Some of these things are ridiculously heavy. Uh, I, here's another dark road instrument. What the hell is it for? What does it do? Why is the evil ring not paired with the evil um, cloak? Why is it paired to the gl grim cloak? Who knows? I might actually try to put the holy gear together here. I don't know. Lots of things going on. We'll have to see how it turns out. We'll probably dick around with the sets later, but you can kind of see what all's going on here. Uh, yeah, the angel set here is not a full set right now. None of them are. But uh, hopefully they will start to become sets. 
I gave them sp I've been giving them special moves uh, you'll see who I assigned what to and I'm man some of the special moves are tremendously disappointing and then there's of course the stat gains from cards which um I don't know I don't really know how much they're giving me how much to express like how much did I gain over the course of the dungeon I don't even know. Um, I know he's gained some intelligence, just a little. Mostly I try to keep it to the characters, like the ones who have names, like Sir Ange, Cotbread, Drowbard, uh, uh, Isilian. I never am sure how to pronounce this name. E.C. Lion? Isilian? don't know but whatever anyway I still have three fairies left most the enemies are almost all carrying okay some battles they don't but so many battles all the enemies have shields and that just makes evil eyes worthless it's like I keep this character in the battles sometimes she, like, just wins the fight for me by herself. Like, oh, half the enemies are petrified. That's a win. And other times, it's like, oh, she can't do anything. Okay, she's, she's nothing then. She has a bow. Anyway, I think you've gotten the overview. Uh, the biggest thing I wish for... is good one-handed weapons good one-handed weapons for uh, this fella here. It's got to be a sword because we're a blade master, but almost everything I encounter wants to be a two-handed item. <sighs> it's a problem. I'm thinking of stealing the desert away, but I don't know. Wow. You know what I really want to do with this guy? I want to dual wield crossbows. Wouldn't that be way cooler? But no, that's not even a thing. Crossbows are two handed. You couldn't even dual wield short bows, I don't think. Maybe you could. I don't think so. I don't believe it. Anyway, so, just thought I'd let you know it's a work in progress, and we are progressing. It's coming. Anyway, I'm going to continue, continue this slog now.